Good afternoon, everybody. Um, LeJohn. Getting ready to work with this uh, stuff I picked up at the art store. It's called Earl Lube Paste. This is a uh, water fast um, substance that you can use indoor or outdoor. It kind of works as a, uh, a sealer or even to be used as an adhesive like Mod Podge or something like that. Um, actually, I've been using it instead of Mod Podge on different surfaces and substrates. Today, I'm going to show you how to use it on a wood panel surface like this. Um, I've done a bunch of different artwork. I call this my Beauty of Bushido and it's um, ink on top of wood. But I don't know if you've ever done ink work on top of wood where the wood tends to um, either suck at the paint too fast or it kind of bleeds in between all the different crevices. And so um, what I've been using before would be like a Maj Paj or some sort of a clear coat. But this stuff works really good. It's actually, it was intended to be used as a um, wheat paste substitute because you don't have to mix up all this stuff. So you can basically wheat paste a bunch of different um, artwork or printouts onto various substrates and services like concrete or spackled walls or brick walls and stuff like that. It's all street artists, guys. This is the good stuff right here. It's uh, very inexpensive. I think this is like a quart. I got this at a local art supply store for like 13 bucks and it goes a long way. It even comes with these little spouts where you can just squeeze the amount to whatever surface, whether it's a vertical wall or a um, flat surface, which you're about to see me do right now. So pretty much, um, this is what I'm going to use to seal the wood. That way I can paint right on top of it and then um, not have to worry about my ink or paint or anything getting sucked into the wood or bleeding into all the different crevices and everything. Alright, so um, I got this wood panel, 12 by 12 over at um, my bar supply store over in Westminster, California. That's where I get pretty much all my art supplies at because I live in California. And um, here we go. So basically, um, you can either use a sponge brush or just a regular old synthetic flat brush. Either one will work for this substrate. I like the sponge brushes because they lay it down pretty smooth. Um, the good thing about this stuff is you can go down super duper heavy with this or lay it down really heavy and then let it dry overnight. I'm gonna wipe down some of the extra dust or particles sometimes that you get inside of wood panels where it was kind of shaved or trimmed or sanded. So just wipe all that extra dust down. Um, I recommend doing this indoors if possible. And like I said, this stuff is um, is really good to work with. It's indoor or outdoor use. This is non-toxic. So it's made of some pretty non-toxic uh, different ingredients. As you can see on the back, I'll try to zoom in as close as possible, non-toxic. And uh, the guy that makes this stuff, Bubba, <laughs> yeah, that's the guy's name. Um, he, I don't know what he put into it, but it's got this mint aroma to it, which makes it smell really good. So you can use it in the house and not have to worry about it uh, being an overwhelming smell. Um, just don't eat it. Don't drink it. Don't give it to your kids. Please don't do that. Safety first as usual. And it's also, um, it's non-yellowing. Okay. So pretty much... I'm just going to squeeze this right onto this substrate surface here and then kind of spread it around with the sponge brush or the flat brush. I'm going to show you both, you know, but you can lay this down heavy. Uh, let it dry overnight um, and do not try to expedite or speed up the drying process with the heat gun or blow dryer because it actually will heat the stuff up and cook it and it will start to boil and bubble and it will pop and it will leave all these weird uh, spots and splotches of where the... Um, uh, the Earl Lube didn't dry completely and I've done that before trying to expedite it and speed it up really fast and it didn't work really well so just go ahead and let it dry overnight and then you can paint right on top of it the next day okay I'm gonna do another demo where I'm going to be doing kind of like a decoupage thing with some like printed out newspaper articles I'm gonna print on top of a um, canvas 
and then I'm gonna do some artwork on top of the um, the uh, Mod Podge. Sorry, I'm never not gonna use that word, but the, the glued articles on top of that. I'm gonna do some artwork on top of that. Okay. So squeeze this stuff on. So it comes out. It's um, kind of a milky white color to it, but it dries completely transparent. Okay. So this is with the Mod Podge brush. It lays it down pretty flat. It's going to look bumpy, but that's fine because the wood is going to absorb it, okay? Since it's got some little tiny pores that we can't really see. Okay, so that's with the little sponge brush. You get a pretty even coat, okay? Same thing with, you know, a nice 